Ladder matches in WWE games have been used many, many times throughout different kinds of story and career modes. The most common objects that are hanging above the ring are title belts and Money in the Bank briefcases. However, there have been a few other weird objects that you have had to retrieve, like an urn, a movie contract, and underwear. Uh, yeah, so make sure you sub with all notifications turned on and please do like the video. Let's get to the first weird object that we had to get in WWE games ladder matches. In SmackDown vs Raw 2009, if you play through The Undertaker's Road to WrestleMania, then you'll eventually have a ladder match with The Undertaker's urn being suspended above the ring. You could either choose to face Santino or Finlay. I pick Santino. So you get the urn and then you'll see this happen after the match. Taker finally got possession of the urn that's caused him so much grief. That was like his kryptonite, Michael. Now he owns it. Wait a minute. Did he just give it back to New School? <laughs> I'm speechless, as is the rest of this arena. So what just happened to Santino? Well, you'll find that out the next week in a handicap match against Santino and Finlay. Looks like, did The Undertaker just possess a member of New School? It looks like the urn did more to him last week than we thought. He's become a zombie. In WWE 2K20's 2K Original Mode, if you play the Wasteland Wanderers section of Originals, then you'll find a tower called Gas Tax. In this tower, you'll play as Pete Dunne as you try and get back your gas that has been stolen by Velveteen Dream. You'll have to play through four ladder matches in a row with the gas being hung high above the ring. Speaking of WWE 2K20, in the My Career Mode as Trey, you'll have a rivalry with The Miz over a movie role, with both you and Miz wanting that lead role. As this is the WWE, of course it's settled in a ladder match, with the movie contract being inside a briefcase above the ring. During this ladder match, The Miz will get some help from a rival of yours, but you also have some backup of your own. Trey hammers Miz in the corner! It's Brooklyn Von Braun! I had a feeling she'd get involved tonight. Do you blame her? She wants Miz to win so she can have a legitimate co-star in the movie. And here's Red to stop Brooklyn from spoiling this match. This is pure jealousy. Red couldn't beat Brooklyn in the audition, so now she's taking it out on her. That's ridiculous. She's only out here to help her friend, Trey. And it appears she's been able to accomplish that. Red has neutralized Brooklyn as they head to the back. Cut, cut. There's no cutting in this match. With that interference out of the way, you can now make your way up the ladder and get that movie role. No matter how you feel about anyone's acting skills, this is a huge night for Trey. He beat a future Hall of Famer in a pressure-filled, high-stakes ladder match at the biggest party in the summer. As far as I'm concerned, Trey deserves the role and our respect. Oh, that's nice, but as of now, I'm officially boycotting rank and file four. Sorry, Brooklyn, I'll just have to catch you in your next film. In SmackDown vs Raw 2007, there's a storyline that I think many of you are familiar with, as it's one of the most famous for being one of the weirdest storylines that have ever happened in a WWE game. For some reason, Candice Michelle has obtained a literal magic wand that can knock you out. Did you see that? Candice just hit him with her cute little plastic wand! Plastic wand, my sooner backside. That shot dropped in like a sack of spuds. And the wand's gotta be loaded with something. So much for Candace not being an advantage for Edge. Well, she practically won the match for him. Yeah, with the help of whatever that wand was loaded with, he's still not moving. Turn you into a woman. Look here, Wicked Witch of the West. Keep that magic wand to yourself from now on. What? Wicked Witch? That's it. You and me in the ring tonight. What? You gotta be kidding. I don't do bikini contests. What the hell? I know. How about a singles match? I'll see you out there, girlfriend. Hey, what up, sexy thing? Shut up! 
and change people into the bogeyman. No, no, oh no, not again. You two stay the hell away from me. You're crazy. I don't want anything to do with you. Ha, shuma fek mikuni ez ma betar hasti. Man be hep begam bia be surat man begu. That's it. I'm out of here. Oh no you don't. I'm not done with you yet. Esmeman bogeyman. And then me am shuma no begiram. Fine. Whatever. I'll be in the ring. You'll have a chance to put an end to all of this with a SummerSlam ladder match against Edge with the Magic Wand being put inside a briefcase above the ring. Once you get the Magic Wand, you'll see this cutscene of the Magic Wand finally being put to an end. He did it! He won the match! He's got the wand! Yeah, but Candace wants it back! You've got to be kidding! He'd be an idiot to give it back! That would do it for me! I'd give her anything after that. I can't tell you how glad that I am that you don't work for the Department of Defense, King. He snapped the wand in half. Finally, it's over. What a relief. You're telling me this place is crazy enough without having that sort of thing around. And in the first SmackDown vs Raw game season mode, if you lose the title before WrestleMania, have no title going into WrestleMania, or don't get into a rivalry with Vince McMahon, then you'll get this secret storyline with Trish Stratus. Throughout this storyline, you'll be trying to get Trish over to SmackDown, but Raw and their superstars will try and put a stop to this. When you eventually get Trish over to SmackDown, you'll see this scene of SmackDown superstars Eddie Guerrero and RVD going through Trish's belongings, with some of those items being stolen. Man, can you imagine how Trish looks in this? Orale. Or these. Yeah, Holmes, I'm more interested in what she looks like out of them. Hey! What do you think you're doing? That's my stuff. Trish, Trish, calm down. We're just waiting here so we could officially welcome you to our show. Yeah, Mommy. Now that you're here, you can be our manager. And I think we'd make a great threesome. And we don't take no for an answer. Okay, well how about hell no? Now get the hell out of here. The next week you'll see a scene of your superstar and a Raw superstar arguing over which brand gets Trish's contract. RVD will enter the room and makes a suggestion of a triple threat tag team ladder match with the winner getting the contract. Vince wonders what could be put above the ring in this ladder match. And I'll just let this scene do the talking now. Vince, Eric Bischoff sent me here to ask you to punish this jerk for stealing Trish away from Raw. The last thing you should do is reward him by giving him what he wants. You know, this sounds like the perfect situation to settle in the ring at WrestleMania this Sunday. But what kind of a match should it be? A simple one-on-one -on -one match isn't big enough for the greatest spectacle in sports entertainment. Even a tag team match doesn't seem big enough. Uh, excuse me, Mr. McMahon? Yeah, pardon the interruption. But I was just passing by and couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Look, me and my partner were thinking that we would love to get a shot at Trish's contract at WrestleMania. So how about a triple threat tornado tag team ladder match? And the winning team gets Trish as their manager. I like it. I like it a lot. But what are we going to hang above the ring? Perfect, that's it, your WrestleMania match right there! A triple threat tornado tag team ladder match this Sunday at WrestleMania. Can you believe it, Taz? No, I can't, Cole, and I can't believe that Mr. McMahon just made a match where Trish is the prize. Well, I'll tell you what, that beats the hell out of going for a title. So a triple threat ladder match takes place with the underwear being hung above the ring. Okay then, this actually happened. So yeah, you'll have the ladder match, you get the underwear, and you'll be seen celebrating with Trish to end WrestleMania. They did it! They did it! They won the match and they're bringing Trish to SmackDown! Oh man, Trish is coming to SmackDown! 
My job just got so much better. And the best part is, Lawler's gonna have an aneurysm. This is great.